Frederick Clifton Moore. The award is named after him, and a lot of people wonder why. Who is Frederick Clifton Moore? Well, I'm going to tell you a little bit about him, but first, let me just say that he was the first president of the Rotary Club of Tallahassee. That was in 1923. And if you math wizards, that's 92 years ago. Frederick Clifton Moore is actually Dr. Frederick Clifton Moore. Grew up in Tallahassee, went to West Florida Seminary, which we know as FSU. Then he got his BA degree from Emory University, got his medical degree from Maryland University. Came back to Tallahassee, and when he got back, he became a physician here in town, and there were only three doctors in Tallahassee at that time. World War I came, and he joined the Army, became a medical corpsman in the Army, and served until he got out. And then he came back to Tallahassee. When he came back to Tallahassee, he held positions all over town. Probably the highest one he held was as mayor of Tallahassee. He retired, not retired, he acted as the surgeon for the Florida State College for Women back in those days. And that is who Frederick Clifton Moore is. Was quite a man, and it is a great thing that we named an award after him. I'm Ivan Johnson. I was the recipient of the Frederick Clifton Moore Award about 13 years ago, I think. Uh, I'm Wayne Edwards. I'm a past uh, president of the Rotary Club of Tallahassee. I'm a past district governor and I'm sorry, who are you? Uh, was a recipient of the Frederick Clifton oh, Moore I'm Award. I'm Larry Deeb, and I uh, take care of children with diabetes and have been a member of Rotary for just over 20 years, and I received the award in 2006. The uh, Frederick Clifton Moore Award is a unique Tallahassee event. There are awards that Rotary gives and the community gives to people that um, recognize various things that you do. But Rotary and the Rotary Club of Tallahassee, in honor of our first president, has really tried to think about the whole person. What have you done with Rotary? What have you done in your career? And then what have you done for the community? And I think that makes it unique. Um, because you can honor any one of those, but it's the complete person that the Rotary Club reaches out to. And I believe that makes it special for the recipient. And I know in 2006 I was incredibly surprised. Because you just don't ever expect it. Because you're sitting in a room full of very special men and women, many of whom you know have done significant things for Rotary, for their careers, and for their community. Uh, it's an award that's selected by uh, past members, past recipients of the award. Um, it's uh, an award that uh, is uh, done in secret. There's no uh, no running for the award, no politicking. Uh, it, to the person that receives it, uh, it's the highest honor in Rotary that I think you can receive. Yes, they're, they're Rotary International um, awards that are given, but to be recognized by your peers in the Rotary Club of Tallahassee as a Frederick Clifton Moore Award recipient, to me, is the highest award that you can receive in Rotary. When you take a look at the club demographics, there are probably plenty of community leaders that are actively involved in their community. There are certainly people who are at the top of their careers and professions. And there are other people who have made contributions to the community uh, in every aspect. However, when you look at the contributions, the career accomplishments, and the Rotary service together, there are very few people who qualify for that. And this year we're honored to have another one of those who is at the top, the peak of their career. Lynn Walschlager was the first of three children of Frank and Jewel Walschlager, 
born in 1937 in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. In 1948, at age 11, Lynn's father, Frank, moved the family from Winston-Salem to Tallahassee to purchase Superior Dry Cleaners that was owned at the time by the Sellers family on South Monroe Street. As a young teenager, Lynn was involved in the Boy Scouts of America, Troop 104, and earned his Eagle Scout badge. Lynn attended Leon High School from 1952 through 55 and lettered in track and field and football. Here's a story Lynn likes to tell of his football memories. Until the 60s, many players had to play offense and defense. In 1953, as a sophomore, Lynn played on the JV team. For the 1954 season, he was moved to four string on the varsity squad. In early fall that year, there was a major polio outbreak in Tallahassee, which affected even the Leon football team and disrupted the football season schedule dates. The 1954 Leon Lions played their last four games of that season in just 10 days. Lynn played left offensive tackle and defensive middle linebacker positions. One day during practice, he limped off the field and approached his coach, intending to say he was tired and wanted to sit down. Lynn's coach looked up from studying his clipboard and said, Lynn, I'm moving you from four string to first. Can you do the job? His promotion gave him an instant shot of energy to get back on the field, but it, this move didn't sit well with the teammates he had jumped over. After his promotion to first string during that practice, on the first snap, the defensive player he lined up against threw a handful of sand in his face as soon as the ball was snapped so he could run around Lynn and through the line. The next play, the defenseman lined up again with hands in the sand, ready to get Lynn a second time. When the ball was snapped, Lynn immediately stood up with his forearm out and the defenseman who threw the sand ran through the dust cloud and into Lynn's forearm. The result? Lynn's opponent was hit under the chin, feet lifted off the ground, landing flat on his back, which stopped the sand throwing without a word needing to be said. Lynn was later inducted into the Leon Football Hall of Fame in 1985. FSU head football coach Tom Nugent offered Lynn an opportunity to try out for the 1956 Seminoles squad, but since he didn't need a football scholarship to attend college, he decided to focus on school. As a freshman, Lynn pledged Sigma Chi fraternity. He graduated from FSU in 1960 with a Bachelor of Science in Business. In 2013, Lynn was recognized as a 50-year Seminole booster, and today, it is not hard to find Lynn at all football, baseball, men's and ladies basketball games. He's a dedicated lifelong Seminole. Lynn married Georgiana Clark from Quincy, Florida in 1958. Lynn and Georgiana were married 47 years. They had two children, older daughter Susan and son David. Georgiana passed away in 2005. In 1961, after working his way through college with a strong work ethic, $300 in his bank account and his father's credit, he opened Tallahassee's first flooring specialty store known as The Carpet Shop. It was located on 3rd Avenue next to his father's dry cleaning business, Timely Cleaners. In 1963, he moved his business across the street to a building that Judge B.K. Roberts owned at 1001 North Monroe at the corner of North Monroe and 3rd Avenue. The carpet shop remained at the North Monroe location until 1982 when Lynn built the building at their current location on Capitol Circle Northeast. In 1987, Lynn joined the Carpet Co-op of America, now known as CCA Global Partners. CCA Global Partners is the nation's largest organization of independently owned flooring dealers. The co-op enjoys thousands of locations in the U.S. and has grown into hundreds of locations in Canada, the U.K., and Australia. Rotarian Dixon Robinson sponsored Lynn in the Rotary Club of Tallahassee in 1971. Lynn was club president in 1986 and 87. He is a Paul Harris Fellow plus seven. Lynn has been nominated for the Rotary Ethics in Business Award the last three out of four years. 
Lynn's son David explains what he learned about Rotary from his father. Like most kids, um, they go to their dad's office for the day and, and um, I can remember at a young age sitting in my dad's uh, chair whenever he wasn't in his office and just kind of taking the landscape of what he had on his desk uh, that particular day and there was all, this is little placard and you read that placard and it was the four-way test and um, you know that was back whenever I was probably you know nine ten years old and uh, one of the neat things is that plaque still on his desk today and uh, it's important to him and uh, um, it's something I think that whenever he needs to make a long hard decision that he looks at each time before he uh, before he makes a decision. Up until past president Walt Freunheim's tenure in 1983, our club was awarding a Paul Harris Fellowship to a member as Rotarian of the Year. That year, President Walt Fronheim asked Lynn to develop the Cl Frederick Clifton Moore Award to replace the Club Rotarian of the Year Award, and it is fitting today that Lynn received this award. Frederick Clifton Moore recipient Wilton Duncan describes the award. I want to read something to you about this award and what it means to someone to get this award. The plaque that goes to the recipient reads as follows. This annual award is presented to a member of the Rotary Club of Tallahassee in recognition of his outstanding service to Rotary, his commitment to our community, and his achievements in his chosen profession. One who truly practices the four-way test, believes in service above self, and exemplifies the ideals of Rotary. I just want all of, you to, all of you to know that Lynn Walslaker fits every one of those and he's been a friend of mine for years and years. Actually, I followed Lynn as president of the club. Lynn was 86, 87 and I was 87, 88. I have known him for that many years and all I can say is he fits every one of the qualifications that are required for this award. And I just want to say welcome and congratulations to Lynn Walslinger. Locally, Lynn is active in the Tallahassee Builders Association and was inducted into their Hall of Fame in 2009. He has also taken on leadership positions in the Florida Home Builders Association, the Children's Home Society, and is a charter member of Network of Entrepreneur and Business Advocates and a charter member and past president of the Tallahassee 100 Club. Lynn is a lifelong member of Trinity United Methodist Church and past board of trustee member. Here is what former pastor John Willis has to say about Lynn. Hi, I'm John Willis. Fifteen years ago I came to Tallahassee to be the senior pastor at Trinity United Methodist Church. One of the first people who encountered there was Lynn Walshlager. Uh, one of the things I really remember about Lynn is he was one of the two people responsible for my coming to Rotary and becoming a member of Rotary. And uh, Lynn really worked on helping me to see the benefits and all of being a part of Rotary. But that's just the kind of guy he is. I mean, he's certainly a person of integrity. Uh, and faithfulness in the church. He was one of our trustees, which is a very responsible position for a facility as large as that. Did an excellent job with that. Lynn's a very faithful and committed person. If Lynn Walshlager tells you he's going to do something, you can count on it. And it wasn't just his faithfulness in church, although Lynn knows the importance of worship in his life and he is there on a regular basis because of his commitment and his faith. But uh, he is a member of many organizations in the community and you don't run a successful business like Lynn has without caring about people and taking care of them and having the integrity 
and the steadfastness uh, to do what you need to do to be the kind of business person that he is. I think it's an excellent idea for him to receive this award. Examples of what Pastor Willis says about Lynn include his support of the Ronald McDonald House, the United Way, Breast Cancer Research, Southern Scholarship Foundation, ECHO, Tallahassee Chamber of Commerce, Habitat for Humanity, U.S. Marine Corps' Toys for Tots, Shriners Hospital, Big Ben Hospice, Salvation Army, Second Harvest of the Big Ben, March of Dimes, National Association of Independent Businesses. Hello. Good afternoon. My name is Greg Alexander. I'm privileged to be here to chime in on my congratulations for Lynn receiving this award. And what I know about Lynn is that he is, that he is immensely strong, inwardly strong. He has a certain calm serenity that comes from a firm inner strength. This is a, a wonderful thing to watch, to observe, and to be around. I think that people around Lynn gain strength from him, even as he may not be aware of that, but he exudes it. He is, to me, the epitome of character. If I was to, if I was to sum it up, I would say that Lynn Walschlager epitomizes the firm, rock-solid character of a committed Christian. It's the highest compliment that I can pay to an individual. I practice medicine. I've seen people in their darkest times. I've seen them at some very high times. I've seen Lynn in these situations. I've known him. I've been around him and I am better for having been around him. I have learned from him. I gain from him whenever we are together. So Lynn, congratulations again on this award. Congratulations to your, to your friends around you for having made such a wise decision. Uh, I love you, they love you, I'm sure, and I hope this is a very big day for you. And finally, from Lynn's son, David. I'm Lynn's son, David Walslager. More so than anyone else in this room, I have a special relationship with Lynn. Not only is he my dad, he's my favorite person to sit beside at Rotary Luncheons each Wednesday. He sponsored me into this club 14 years ago. For the past 22 years, we have coffee every morning and work side by side every day. We sit together at all FSU football and basketball games, cheering on the Seminoles. We sit together at church on Sundays, and 25 years ago, when I married the love of my life, he was my best man. I'm proud of your decades of service and giving to this club and being the best father I could have dreamed of.